Spencer and welcome to Adventures in Pixieland. This is going to be your weekly reading going from March 15th to March 22nd. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind so we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle the busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when cancer content is uploaded. Cancer content comes out every single Wednesday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal read, please feel free to check out the description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and would like to subscribe, please click on that link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings depending upon subscription level. We start out with that last quarter moon at 10.08 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time in Sagittarius. Mars in Gemini is square, Neptune in Pisces. Energy may feel a bit foggy. You might need to clean up and clear out. Don't take yourself so seriously either because opportunities will arrive on that day when you find the funny. On the 15th, we have a void, of course, moon happening at 4.50 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And at uh, 8.06 a.m., in its waning crescent state, enters into Capricorn. Sun in Pisces conjunct Neptune in Pisces with the waning crescent moon, right? So, connection to your spiritual self is going to be about where it's at, compassionate, intuitive, and you're going to need to stay giving people grace on that particular day because ambitions are going to be running high. We are going to be focusing on our plans, but we don't want to run roughshod over other people, right? So be sure you're being compassionate there. On the 16th, it's a very busy astrological day. You've got the sun in Pisces, square Mars in Gemini, which means you'll be frustrated. And Venus in Aries, square Pluto and Capricorn for the beginning part of the day. Again, more frustration. You need to find a healthy outlet for that frustration. And it will ease up some because when Venus enters into Taurus, which Venus is the planet that rules Taurus, so it is exalted in this sign. So it's going to make everything, you know, settle down. It's going to make it be peaceful, but it also make love and creativity very very sensual you're going to want to immerse your senses in everything that you're doing you're going to want bright colors you're going to want fine food you're going to want that kind of thing happening there because mercury in pisces conjunct neptune in pisces means your intuitive intelligence is going to be quite strong so not only will you know what you need you're going to know what other people need okay on the 17th you got the void of course moon happening at 10:14 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time and at 10:25 a.m. it's going to in its waning crescent moon state enter into Aquarius with Mercury in Pisces square Mars in Gemini Sun in Pisces conjunct Mercury in Pisces Venus in Taurus sextile Saturn in Pisces it's a lot for St. Patrick's Day isn't it we just want to go get your drink on uh, you're going to need to finish up something um, that you started about two months ago. And you're going to want to be spending some time here reflecting on, on these changes when you go to make them. But there are going to be some people who don't like the changes that you want to make. But you're going to need to make them anyway. On the 18th, the waning crescent moon in Aquarius while Mercury in Pisces, sextile Pluto in Capricorn ideas will flow choose what you are most passionate about because you can find the solutions to these particular problems you got the waning crescent moon on the 19th first you got the void of course moon at 6 33 a.m eastern daylight time and then 11 12 a.m it enters in its waning crescent state into pisces while mercury now enters into aries the mind will be really active and you're going to want to make plans with that moon energy wants you to reflect right so reflect first make plans after nothing wrong with thinking through your plans pretty clearly on the 20th you have happy austera also known as the spring equinox to the uh, Celtic people it's austera uh, happy Aries season as well the Sun enters Aries while the waning crescent moon is in Pisces you will have a lot of drive and a desire to reflect reflect you may be focused on doing something correctly okay so that's two days in here first on the 18th and then again 
on the 20th. No, sorry, first on the 17th and then on the 20th. In which you are basically getting a do-over from the universe. Whatever you did two months ago that you didn't do properly the first time, maybe a goodbye you didn't say right, you know, things of this nature. You're going to get a chance to do it over again. Maybe you messed up something in a relationship and you want to try to fix it. Well, those are your days. On the 21st, you have a void, of course, moon at 11.58 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And at 12.01 p.m., it enters into Aries. And then at 1.23 p.m., it is a, a new moon in Aries. So we'll have the sun, the moon, Mercury, and Jupiter all in Aries. So you might find your energy is booming and your enthusiasm is high. You might feel, you know, excited. You are going to want to focus on a project that it's quick to complete, like, or at least quick to get started. It's something you can, you can mobilize on immediately because you are not gonna wanna be patient. The world's not gonna be patient on that day. Okay, let's jump into the tarot. Cancer, March 15th through the 22nd. 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 Okay, all right. Now, I will clarify all these cards, but before I do, past, present, near future, someone to you, you to the someone, balance, outcome, summary. Okay, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Also, there's no gender in tarot. Every, you are either walking up to somebody and talking or somebody is walking up to you and talking and this entire reading is just a conversation between two people in a relationship. And in this instance, it means a continued, relationship means a continued interaction between any two people doesn't matter who it is. In your past here, Six of Pentacles, something was in balance. There was equal reciprocity happening. Queen of Cups energy there, that's needing to use one in, one's intuition, but it's also the Queen of Cups is any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Cancer. So it's just your energy there. Knight of Swords, you might have been dealing with a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Gemini, or a Taurus here in your recent past. In your current moment, you're feeling a little defensive there with that Nine of Wands. Why? Because here in your near future, Seven of Swords, that's lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating, also a card of strategy, feels more like it's one of those negative qualities, though, because over here we got the Four of Cups. Somebody is just not having it. Four of Cups energy is my nope card. It also could be a card of missed opportunity. Be careful of being in that defensive energy in your present if you are looking for an opportunity in your future. Someone to you, Ten of Pentacles, they're in a community that you're in, a very practical community. It doesn't have to be any kind of home life. It doesn't necessarily have to be work, but it usually is. Knight of Pentacles. Any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Virgo, also card of Leo. It doesn't really matter. It's in the you position. You are moving very slowly towards something. You've got King of Swords energy. Uh, down here. King of Swords, any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Aquarius. Also, though, a card of Capricorn. So whoever this is, uh, they could be in this community here with you, or it could be that um, you could be just acting like a boss. They could be a judge. They could be a doctor, somebody of authority figure, that kind of thing. It seems like it's somebody else besides you that's going to bring balance to some situation. I'm just not sure if they're in that community or not. Outcome here, Leo energy there with the sun. That's something being illuminated. Most definitely reconfirmed here with this page of swords, which is definitely about gathering information. Two of wands is standing at a crossroad. Whatever you find out, sends you out of, have you standing at a crossroad. But two of pentacles, it is balanced. I would look up the angel number 22. All right, let's get you some clarification here, Cancer. What is the Six of Pentacles in Cancer's past? Message of concern, okay. What is this Six of Pentacles? What is the Six of Pentacles? Wheel of Fortune, what's the Six of Pentacles? 
to the sun. What's this? Six of Pentacles. Five of Cups, Sadness. So there's some sort of, uh, there was a message of concern here that brought about some sadness. Even though there was some sort of uh, reciprocity that seemed to be happening here. With these coins going back and forth. Note how this person has the coins in their hand and this person is waiting to receive the coins. But they never actually land in their hand. So maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe somebody else, you know, you found out some information here. Maybe someone else did not feel like there was reciprocity happening here. Uh, divine timing is at play with that Wheel of Fortune card. What is this Queen of Cups in Cancer's past? Imprisonment. So you, you went all eight of swords on yourself. What is this Queen of Cups in Cancer's past? Three of Pentacles. What's this Queen of Cups in Cancer's past? The Fool. What's this Queen of Cups in Cancer's past? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. You got the King of Swords down there. You got the Queen of Swords up here. I'm wondering if they're the same person. You're all up in your head here. Possibly about uh, some sort of committed relationship. Whether that's these, these people could be getting married. That could be a baby. He could be selling wares. It look, looks like he could be holding like a barrel of something back there. This is an official relationship. Official as in there's some legal documentation. There's proof. Proof that you two know each other. Could be marriage, could be work. Aries energy there with the fool, wanting to have a fresh start in this situation because you're up in your head. Queen of Swords, any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Libra this time, also a card of Virgo. Uh, you know, need to make a head over heart decision here. What is this Knight of Swords in Cancer's past? A message. Probably from this could be the same person. It could all be the knight, the queen, the king, like that. What is this knight of swords in Cancer's past? Could just be an air sign you're in, in, interacting with. There's what I'm getting at. This is the two of swords. What is the knight of swords in Cancer's past? Three of cups. What's the knight of swords in Cancer's past? It's too many cards. We're not taking five. What's the knight of swords in Cancer's past? Come on, I need one card, Spirit. Thank you. The Magician. That's uh, Gemini Virgo energy. Gemini energy. Libra energy. Minor Arcana. Justice card. Courts. Documents. You could have gotten some sort of actual official paperwork here with this message and this Two of Swords. Maybe somebody, uh, maybe from this person, but some sort of official paperwork of some kind, possibly. Because court systems, right? These, this and the three of pentacles can mean a lot. Frequently mean the same thing. From somebody in a group, three of cups, maybe a reconciliation there. Somebody is manifesting something. Some sort of celebration going on here. Possibly celebration or reconciliation of some kind. What is this cancer? What is this nine of wands in cancer's present? mature man. So somebody you know, if you identify as a mature man, that could be you. If you identify as a mature woman, uh, but you might be standing in your masculine energy, because we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. Uh, they could be in the Nine of Wands. What is this Nine of Wands in Cancer's present moment? Three of Swords. What's the Nine of Wands? Five of Swords. Knight of Cups. All right, so some sort of outside interference here. Three of Swords. Three of Swords can be any. It could be cheating, especially with the Seven of Swords here. You could find out somebody was cheating, and that's why you're in defensive energy. It could just be heartache. There could have been an argument. Five of Swords there is an argument that happened. We have some sort of conflict happening here, and it, it's uh, bringing some sort of stress to somebody with this Three of Swords. Knight of Cups is any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Hemi on the Pisces, also a card of Aquarius. It could just be you, though, because you're a water sign. It's a water sign. What is the Seven of Swords in Cancer's near future? Despairs. Oh, yeah. I, well, it would be. What is the Seven of Swords? 
Seven of Cups, Four of Swords. I would look up the angel number 77. What is the Seven of Swords? The Moon. Yeah, so you didn't even see this coming. Moon energy, it's Pisces there. Being in despair because somebody, uh, you know, somebody was lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating. You, just, you know, you don't, you don't like it. Four of Swords, needing to take a break. Seven of Cups, looking at options. Or maybe some confusion. Seven of Swords, the Moon, Seven of Cups, even with the Despair card. You could be really sad because something was unclear to you. A lot of, uh, lots of things being unclear. You just don't know what's going on here. What is this Four of Cups? Require more information. Ugh. Not interested in whoever this thief is. What is this uh, Four of Cups? Five of Pentacles. What's this Four of Cups? King of Swords. What's this Four of Cups? Ooh, High Priestess. That's Cancer Energy in there. Yeah, you and whoever this other person is. You two are not on the same page. You need to be using your intuition about this opportunity. This uh, lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating, and that definitely makes it feel like that. Five of Pentacles is feeling left out in the cold. King of Swords, again, down there. So these two are definitely cross related. You know, again, any air sign Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Aquarius, also a card of Capricorn. I don't like this. This is sadness here. It's not good. What is this? Ten of Pentacles? Mature woman. Interesting. Mature man over there, mature woman over here. Right? Definitely could be a match set. Could also be the same person. What is this Ten of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles. What's this Ten of Pentacles? It's, you know, eight of Wands. So they're going to talk to you. What is this Ten of Pentacles? That's how you'll know where they are. The Hierophant. So somebody in your community definitely something in some sort of committed stuff so the hierophant is a card of taurus but it is also and so is the the knight of swords it's also a card of taurus but it's also this one's also about higher learning higher education of any kind it's about church i mean the guy clearly looks like a pope right some religious official somebody you would consider an authority figure of some kind totally that could be that this king of swords is the hierophant because both kings and the higher fun, there's certain cards in the decks that are authority figures. And the higher fun can just be an authority figure. It doesn't have to be uh, any one particular authority figure. And so can the mature man and the mature woman. They, you know, they're people with experience. And they're definitely going to be communicating with you, eight of wands. That's how you will know who they are. They're in your community already, and they will converse with you, knight of pentacles, because that's in the you energy. I could give you all the signs, but it doesn't matter. You're showing up here as the knight of pentacles, and they're talking to you. What is this knight of pentacles? Pathway. Okay. What is this knight of pentacles? Page of pentacles. What's this knight of pentacles? Knight of wands. What's this knight of pentacles? Two of Cups. Yep, that's definitely your energy. It's also a card of relationships. Any kind, like I said. There's something about this path that you're on. It's a very transformative path. Take a look at those butterflies there. Right? There's something about this path that you're on. Where communication is coming in from that person. Very practical communication, not very emotional communication. Any fireside, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Sagittarius, also a card of Scorpio. Could be that you're having a communication come in from one of those signs, or it could be your response to the communication that's coming in there, or maybe it's just fast moving communication. I mean, they could be any of these signs, uh, but it could also just be communication that's moving really quick because of the Knight of Wands. It can be inconsistent as well. But they're a fast moving energy, just like the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is a super fast moving energy. Fastest knight in the deck, actually, followed by the Knight of Wands. What's this King of Swords? Main male. Okay. What's this King of Swords? That could be you. You could just be in your King of Swords energy. Two of Wands. What's this King of Swords? 
temperance, it's Sagittarius energy, which is what that card is. What's this King of Swords? Ace of Pentacles. So there's some sort of opportunity here. Balance is found. Standing at a crossroads, right? Got these two people, they could be the same person, representing the same person. Standing at this crossroads, looking for balance, and in seeking this balance and seeking uh, this opportunity, Ace of Pentacles. There, the opportunity is what brings balance to this situation. What is this Sun card about? Toil and labor. Something being illuminated for you about this work, possibly uh, from a, you know a Leo, but it doesn't have to be. What is this Sun card about? Six of Cups, what's this Sun card about? Queen of Cups, Death card. Okay. Scorpio energy there with the Death. Queen of Cups is your energy. So definitely some sort of soul connection here. Something illuminated for you about the amount of work needed within this soul connection. Maybe you, you got an illumination of something that needs to end with that Death card being there. This, this will help uh, clear that up for us some. What's this Page of Swords? Oh, there's the Death card. Yep, it's a crossover. It's information you find out. What's this Page of Swords? Judgment, Scorpio energy, along with that and the cough in there. What's this Page of Swords? Page of Cups. What's this Page of Swords? Three of Wands. Okay. Definitely getting some information on something that needs to end. There needs to be a choice. A communication comes in about somebody looking out towards the future, wanting to make some sort of choice, wanting a decision to be made. Either they have to make it or you find out that they've made a certain decision. What is this two of wands? Child card. Okay. What's this two of wands? The devil. What's this two of wands? Seven of pentacles. What's this two of wands? Ace of wands. Right. So the devil is Capricorn energy. And so is the king of swords in both instances. And up here, you know, where we have it, where it's the knight of pentacles and stuff, right? That is earth energy. These are earth energy. So it's entirely possible it's a, a Capricorn. Or you could be standing at this crossroads because you have the choice between innocence and toxicity. And you need to be patient while you seek this fresh start, this Ace of Wands. What is this Two of Pentacles? Poverty. That's Five of Pentacles energy. Which you've had somewhere in here, yeah, in here, with just this not having this uh, stuff. What's this Two of Pentacles? The world, what's this Two of Pentacles? The Hermit, what's this Two of Pentacles? Then with the Virgo energy, Ten of Pentacles. So it could very well be a Virgo that you're trying to balance things with, but it doesn't have to be. This is Virgo energy, Virgo energy, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Like, this is uh, this person. Okay. This person's trying to find balance here in this Five of Pentacles. There's something about this, because it's the two of you being at this Five of Pentacles with the thief. They're trying to find balance. They are. With this Two of Pentacles being in that poverty energy, it's somebody in a community you already know. They want to bring that uh, that feeling of poverty to a conclusion. They went within, try to find the way with that hermit energy, if they're not just a Virgo. Let's give you some advice. Advice for Capricorn? I'm sorry. There's a little Capricorn energy here. Advice for Cancer. Death card, advice for Cancer. Six of Cups, Six of Wands. You need to remember what it is about this person, Six of Cups, the soul connection, uh, that was working in the first place. 
Why did you like them in the first place? Because you can have a rebirth of this soul connection and have victory in this connection. But you have to decide that you want it. Why did you ever like them? There was a reason. And that's not me being trying to be aggressive. That's me telling you you need to ask yourself this question. What about them was appealing in the first place? Instead of checking off all the things, well, they act like this, and this, 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 all the negative, where's the positive? Why were you ever dealing with them? Were you just stupid before? Or were you seeing something different? It's time to, it, we're in this very heavy Pisces season during, during this time frame. You need to be reflecting. Saturn is in Pisces. It'll be there for years. It's time to reflect on one's work environment. Um, on these places in one's life where you're usually really strict. It's time to ease that up, be compassionate, be gracious, be gentle. Don't be so rough with people. Don't be so judgmental. Open up your mind, open up your heart. You're supposed to be the queen of cups. Heartfelt, centered, family, balanced unit. If you have a yes or no question, that you would like answered, this is the time to think it because this is the deck that does it. Message for Cancer. You are ready. Message for Cancer. That would be a yes if it was yes or no. Take action and remain positive. All Also yeses. Don't go in the negative mindset though. It's easy for, for uh, actually it's particularly easy in my opinion. I'm not a cardinal sign. But it's, in my opinion, very easy for cardinal signs to get very dictatorial. They want to lead the way. It's part of the nature of the signs. They're certain their way is right, but they can get in such a way where it's confirmation bias, and they're not listening to other people because those people are not telling them what they want to hear. And that is a form of toxicity. So just be very careful, especially within present moment being in that nine of wands. There's clearly problems here in this relationship. Either you're going to walk away from it, or you're going to fix it. And it's telling you that if you want to fix it, you can. You can do it. You just have to decide you want to. Advice for Cancer, March 15th through the 22nd. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. Advice for Cancer, March 15th through the 22nd. Fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Advice for Cancer, March 15th through the 22nd. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. A new start is coming, new moon. Let's get you a fairy message. Message for Cancer. Elemental magic. We fairies are of the elements as are you. Connect with the earth, the air, the water, and the fire this day. And feel the fifth element, spirit. Ignite the natural magic within. That is a beautiful message. Don't let yourself be disconnected. Don't let yourself get so defensive and so sure of your own way. So sure it must only be this way. So dictatorial that you're not hearing the people that you're on a team with. Cancers are meant to be home and hearth. They're meant to be family unit. They're meant to draw people in together, inspire them to come together, not force them to come together with roughness, not to run roughshod over other people. You're supposed to be the family, the home and hearth people, right? The warm and fuzzies. People like the warm and fuzzies. Get into the warm and fuzzies. It can't just all be, you know, dictatorial parent. Nobody likes that overbearing helicopter parent who wants to micromanage every single fashion of their parents. Those are the kids that rebel. The harder you push on somebody to force them to be a particular way, if they're not showing you they want to be that way, they're going to resist and you're just creating a cycle, which is how you get into this negative mindset and this five of pentacles and not being on the same page as someone. I hope that helps, Cancer, because it is what I have for you. And just remember, as you go about the world this week, that you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here.